right, in this lesson we're going to be modeling the horns on the character. Uh, as you can see, I've cut it in half and I mirrored over the character leg uh, that was a little bit more representative of what I had done in the drawing. I saved off the other one over here. And I also went in and added a few more edge loops and spaced them out, creating even faces and tightening up some of the edge flow so that the character uh, was looking more like the drawing. It also gave me a few more divisions up here to work with to extrude the, the area that we're going to build out for the base of the horn here, this kind of fleshy area right here. So I've got nine faces here. Let me just go ahead and select those right there. And I'm going to go ahead and just give them a different material so we can and visualize this a little bit better. And I'm just going to darken these down a little bit so we can see them a little bit better. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use for the opening of the horns right here, this uh, base part. And I'm going to go back to my modeling toolkit and make sure I've got edge slide on. And I'm going to go to vertex and start shaping these. So I want to round this area out very much like we've been doing all along with our arm and leg openings, the sockets. And I want to line these up here as well. Pull this in just a little more. And I don't want these to get pulled over too far. I'm just kind of looking at my edge flow of these lines flowing down into the arm. And with these, I'm looking at the opening right here, and I feel like they could go up just a little higher for a starting point. Slide this over just a little, and I think that's going to be our starting point right here. So I'm going to go ahead and come back here and select the faces. All right, so I've got those selected, and I'm going to do Control E, and I'm going to go ahead and pull these out and scale them in a little bit, slide them a little bit more in the up direction, and. I'm going to go ahead and center that now, scale that in. Let's get the edge slide off on here. It's kind of restricting my movement. Okay, and I'm going to just do a little bit of shaping on this before I uh, put the next edge loop in there. It's uh, gotten a little bit square here from that extrude I did. It kind of pulled the points out, so I'm just going to pull them back in. Alright, so I've got the roundness back in there that I had lost from the extrude. Just pull these up here. I'm going to drop in an edge loop right here to kind of hold this form in place. Right about there. Cue to end that and I'm going to just scale this in a little bit and pull it out. So I'm trying to get this edge that I drew right here. I've got kind of a sharp turn, and here it kind of flows in straight to the body. So I'm kind of working to create that edge flow. And these points here are going to have to get pulled down a little closer towards the base of the head. Okay, 
okay and then I'm just coming back around here and just checking the overall kind of form. I've got another extrude to do to bring it up to this point here. So let's go ahead and grab the faces again. And control E. And I'm going to pull it up here. Okay, so I'm going to come back and do a little bit more shaping on this. And I'll probably speed this area up here so you don't have to sit through all of this. I'm just going to kind of concentrate on here and get these pulled into position. Okay, so just last little couple tweaks right here, and I've got everything back where I want it. And just following the, the design here as much as possible. So uh, this is going to be the, the base here. I want to actually create this thickness right here where the skin kind of turns in just before it becomes the horn. So I'm going to go back to faces. Select the faces on the top again and extrude that. Center it and scale it in. So that's creating the thickness. And here I'm starting to look at the thickness of uh, the horn coming into this skin area and it's lined up pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to extrude it one more time and I'm going to just push it down. Okay, and from here I'm actually going to separate it now and I'm going to make a new mesh that's going to be the horn. So I'm going to come under Edit Mesh and extract that and you'll see it under here. So I've got the what's going to be the base of the horn and then the character's body. Alright, so I'm going to grab this and go to Faces. And for this piece right here I'm going to use a curve to create the the horn extrude. So I'm going to open up my settings for that. So under Edit Mesh Extrude option box, I'm going to make sure I'm generating a curve. And then under Divisions, I'm going to up it to about, we'll start off with four. Okay, and then I'm going to extrude. And I'm going to come over to my channel box and slide down here where it says taper. I'm just going to click on that and then middle mouse. I'm going to taper that down and just take a look at that. Quite a few faces right here. We've got nine faces collapsing down so I don't want to take it much more than 0.2 on this character. I'll have to come back here and shape this out a little bit but that's good for now and then I'm going to uh, come over here and select. I'm going to go to 4 on the keyboard for wireframe. I have my curve inside there. I'm going to right mouse click over that and get control vertex. I'm going to pull this one up here on the top. Up. And we'll start following the direction of this horn. Okay, so it's kind of just going uh, straight up right now. I actually want it to go back. So I'm going to angle it back. And I probably pulled it up just a little high. Right about there. Okay, and I've got another point right here. I also want to pull. And that will space those out a little bit more evenly. 
Okay, I'm going to go back to 5 on the keyboard and take a look at that. So this is a good start here. I'm going to go ahead and select these faces on end here. So I'm just going to drag a marquee, hold down the control key and drag another marquee to deselect. So that leaves me with the selection on the top. I'm going to go to scale and I actually want to double click on this and set my... I'm going to go ahead and set it to component and I want to flatten these out here. I'm going to go ahead and extrude this again. I don't think I'm going to uh, wrap it all the way around I did in the picture here but I'm going to go ahead and at least kind of curl the end a little bit. So I'm going to take it down to three divisions. Again I'm going to come down to taper and Taper that off. Okay, we'll just leave it at, uh, in this case, 0.2 again. 4 on the keyboard. And access that control point here. And from the side view, I'm going to pull this over. it down there and then I'm going to pull these kind of up and over like that. And I could probably have one more subdivision right here so I will probably just insert an edge loop right there but that looks pretty good. I don't think I want to do one more kind of curl around there. I'm going to leave it like that and go back to 5 on the keyboard and I can see where it's kind of collapsed right here a little bit. That's this edge right here. It needs to get rotated around like that. And the others look pretty good. So I do need a couple edge loops. I need one here. I need one here at the end. And with this one, rotate it and I'm also going to kind of push it up here a little bit just so I get a little bit more curvature. There we go. And that all looks good. So I want to center the pivot uh, at the base of this horn right here. Right now it's uh, down here in the center of the face. I'm going to hit D on the keyboard. That's going to allow me to move this pivot point up here and D again to end that. So now when I uh, pivot it, it's going to pivot from this point here. Uh, it's inside here, so I actually want to just undo that. I'm going to grab all of these and delete the history on them. I've got a shortcut here out on the shelf. You can find it under Edit, Delete by Type History. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab this horn. I'm going to pull it out of this parenting and it's going to allow me to move it now without it getting disoriented. I think I'm also going to just scale it up a little bit. Okay, and then on the base of the horn here, I'm going to grab some of these points on the top and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just rotate them and rotate them back and slide this back just a little bit And down here, I'm just going to grab these vertices at the base of the horn and scale those down a little bit so they fit in there nicely and just rotate them a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to do a little bit of shaping on here. Just going to scale these down a little.
There we go. All right, so I'm going to call this done here on the horns. And what I'm going to do is just uh, cut the character in half and mirror it over. And I can see some of my faces picked up from the extrude here. It picked up that darker color. So I'm just going to select the body existing material Lambert 1. Okay, and I think I'll assign the horn to Lambert 2 just so it looks a little darker. And darken that down just a little more. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to cut the character in half from the front view. Grabbing the faces. Selecting one half. And in this case, um, instead of deleting it, I'm actually just going to section it off. I'm going to extract it. And then I'm going to select this side and hide it. And this side, I'm going to mirror over. So I'm going to right mouse click, holding down the shift key, and under mirror, I'm going to open up the option box. And it's set to positive. I want to set it to negative X and mirror. And looks like that went through OK. Q to get out of that. And with the horn, I'm going to come under my channel box and hit W on the keyboard. So I moved the pivot point up over here so I could uh, kind of scale and orient it the way I want. I'm actually going to move that pivot point back to the center now. I'm going to snap it on the grid. So I'll do that from here. I'm going to hit D so I can move it bring it over here. I'm going to hold the X key down. You can see it's snapping now and I'm going to snap it to the center here. Hit D to get out of that. And we're going to actually uh, duplicate special this over to the other side. It's going to pivot at this point right here. Before I do that I want to clean up all of my transformation uh, information on here by coming under Modify Freeze Transformations. You can see that zeroed everything out. And now I'm going to come under Edit, Duplicate Special, Option Box, and under Scale X, so this is X, Y, and Z. So under X I'm going to put a negative 1 and say Duplicate Special, and that's going to copy that over to the other side. Okay, so I've got my character's horns done now. And we'll come back in the next lesson and start modeling out the eye sockets.